With everything in a house is getting smarter, what with app controlled lights, locks and even smart speakers, it's kind of just obvious to bring smart routers into the mix as well. I know what you're thinking. What do you even mean by a smart router? App controlled? AI based? Well, yes and no. Hey guys, I'm Akshay from ebomb.com and today let's talk about smart routers and some of the things that you can do with them but not with your regular router. So let's get started. So you're out of town but you need to make sure that the kids aren't just spending all of their time on the internet. Or maybe you're just wondering if a nosy neighbor is stealing your Wi-Fi again. If you have a smart router, you can simply launch the router app and check on everything about your network. So if you see your annoying neighbor stealing again, you can just add him to your MAC address blacklist. There's quite a bit more that you can do with the app, including things like inviting people to join your network by sending them your Wi-Fi SSID and password via email or text, changing your Wi-Fi name and password, and setting up port forwarding and a lot more. The Linksys app can actually let you do most of the things that I'll be telling you about in the rest of the video. So you've always wanted a sort of central media server for your house, but you can't get yourself to lurk around in the murky waters of Kodi and Plex? Well, smart routers have you sorted. With a smart router, you can create your own personal cloud. Simply connect an external hard disk or a USB drive to the router's USB port and you can quickly set up a central media server and easily access all of your files wirelessly. You can also set up secured access, so only authorized users can access your files. The method uses FTP, SMB etc to share files. You can also forward the FTP port to access your external storage remotely, making it even more useful. And for times when you get tired of switching your printer from one computer's USB port to another, well, why not connect that to the router and share it over Wi-Fi as well? Yeah, you can do that too. Let's face it, we have more devices at home than we do people. Which means that there is a lot of load on our routers, what with 4K videos, online games and multiple downloads at the same time. With smart routers, you can easily prioritize devices on the network to assign more bandwidth to devices that need it. So if you're streaming 4K video on an iMac, just give it a higher priority. Or do that for your PS4 Pro for those online gaming sessions. It just takes a couple of clicks and you're done. You can even set the bandwidth that you want to reserve for devices marked as high priority. On most regular routers, checking connected devices involves looking at MAC addresses or looking at a table of DHCP clients. However, smart routers make this a lot more understandable by allowing network mapping. Network maps graphically display every device connected to the router. Plus, you can click on any device to get information about it, reserve its DHCP address, or set up parental controls for it. Network maps might not sound like a huge deal, but when you have more than 10, 12 devices at your place, network maps are the best way of managing who's using your network without having to keep track of MAC addresses and whatnot. Smart routers also have MU MIMO support which stands for multi-user, multiple input, multiple output. Basically, it means that a smart router can simultaneously handle multiple devices and give each one of them equal attention. This is different from a regular router which can only actually communicate with one device at a time. Now this may sound incorrect because more often than not, more than one device is connected to a router and they're both connected to the internet as well. Well, it appears as if that's what's happening because the router switches between every connected device very quickly essentially making it feel like they're all simultaneously accessing the internet. MU MIMO allows a router to simultaneously communicate with a number of devices and send and receive data packets from all of them at the same time. The router is smart enough to be able to route different packets to proper destinations. It reduces the time the devices have to wait, dramatically speeding up the network. MU MIMO increases the capacity and efficiency of the router, making it better suited for data-intensive activities such as streaming and gaming. If you're worried that your kids may be staying up late online or wasting their time surfing the internet while they should be doing their homework, wireless scheduling is your savior. 
With wireless scheduling, you can easily have your router stop allowing access to the internet according to time ranges set by you. While this is possible on a regular router, it will take a regular user to spend a lot of time figuring out how the various options tie in together. On a smart router, you can just head on over to the tab that says wireless and block out the time in an easy to understand graph. Parental controls on a router are very important and this importance is probably why parental controls are available on regular routers as well. However, the complicated way in which the menus are laid out makes it look like parental controls should be marked as an IT parent feature only. But on a smart router, you can simply head over to parental controls, select the device you want to enable the feature for, specify the times you want to restrict internet access and specify the websites you wish to block. So you can easily block websites like Facebook, Instagram and Tumblr to ensure that your kids don't get distracted. I think you'll agree that this is way better and easier than having to work your way through a series of unfriendly forms that will definitely put you off. Guest networks are awesome. They are an easy way of ensuring that a guest doesn't get access to devices on your home network or to your shared files, but they're still able to access the internet via your router. Smart routers like the Linksys ea 7300 will allow you to just go to guest networks and edit everything that you need to. Plus, you can check which devices are connected to your network, giving you a nice overview. While it is fortunate that most regular routers support this feature, it's also kinda bad that they implement it in a poor way, with a terrible UI that will definitely have me running away from using guest networks. I mean just look at this. Ok, so this is not really that big a deal, but it's just handy to have a speed test widget inside your router software. So the next time you're tinkering with your router's DNS settings or routing table or switching between NAT and RIP, you'll not have to go to another website to check the speeds you're getting. Your smart router has that feature built in. Well, those were some of the things that you can do with a smart router but not with your regular one. So do you use a smart router at home and do you think it's worth it? Do let us know in the comment section below. Also, make sure you hit the bell icon so you get notifications for all our videos and you can comment on them at the earliest because we usually lurk around there for about an hour after a video goes up. Also, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That was all from my side. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.